Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Ascension Playground. This is Ursi, and today I'm so excited. We started talking about the four royal Persian stars based on the monarchy of 550 to 350 before Christ. In doing a little more research, there are those who actually put this type of um, mythology of the four royal stars back three to 4,000 years ago from today. So that's even further back in history. So I'm not sure what's correct, but I thought I'd give a shout out that this idea of having four foundational pillars to help navigate the heavens, to set a calendar, to look at the sun for the year and the moon, the lunar phases, and to understand how to navigate where the other stars are in real time. This goes way back. So we have the four watchers of north, south, east, west. But today we're going to talk about one fixed star. It's called the fixed star Regulus. And Regulus is located in the constellation called Leo. Now, you may recognize that term Leo. It is the same as the sign of Leo, the constellation Leo, the lion, the lion-hearted. So uh, let me go ahead and share a little something with you. Here we go. And dun, da, da, da. here's my little mm, slide presentation. Regulus, the heart of the lion. If you've done a little research and pulled up your own mm, quantum soul guidance report based on what Julia Balaz and her online calculator states, if you have Regulus somewhere in your, your chart for your natal chart, um, see if any of this lands with you as far as an energetic. So on the right, you can see here, I just went and I found an image of this beautiful fixed star in the Leo constellation. It is also known not just as Regulus, but Alpha Leonis. Alpha typically represents the brightest star within that constellation. Um, as we shared earlier, it is associated with Archangel Raphael and is the watcher of the north. So, so many people want to have this star in their astrology um, as a sensitive or activated point only because this is the star commonly known as the star of the king. Its color is the green ray. That green color I associate with Archangel Raphael, who's known as the angel of healing and support. Again, the element is air. So the mind, the air. But the heart of the lion, it brings us to that space. Even the chakra of the heart is green. If you have this in your chart, I've added when, when the best time to meditate to bring in the energy of this fixed star. If you don't have it activated in your, in your chart, not to worry. You can still call in and bring in this particular kingly energy. If you're in the northern hemisphere located, you know, if you're currently residing there, the best time to meditate is around August 18th. You meditate during the day. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and it's February 18th, you would meditate during the day. Now, let's just say come February 18th and I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, I could call in the energy of Regulus, but the meditation would be more towards evening because they're creating this beautiful conjunction, opposition, alignment, depending on your location. Hope that wasn't too much um, astro speak for you. Okay, so the next slide I'm going to show you. Let's see, go like this. In this wonderful card deck called the Box of Stars, a practical guide to the night sky, here we see a picture that's based on the constellation Leo. Now, even a month ago, I didn't know that there's two lions in the sky. This little lion above was added later, but here is the larger, the greater lion Leo constellation. And the fixed star Regulus, I'm gonna put my little clicker, is right here 
on his right upper leg. Let me share a little bit about the great lion. The mythology includes that one of the first labors for Hercules in Greek mythology was that he was asked to go kill the Nemean lion or Nemean, N-E-M-E-A-N. So, you know, this was uh, Hercules' hero's journey. So his first task, go kill that lion. So he did. Unfortunately, he strangled it and then wore the lion's clothing around him for the rest of his life because it was a symbol of kingship and masculine power. Now, in ancient Egypt, when they saw the fixed star Regulus, it meant that the annual flooding of the Nile would occur. The hot days of summer were upon them. In astrology, we know that Leo is the fire sign and it's ruled by the sun. It's the proudest and most regal of all the zodiac signs. Okay, so the stars. And so here's the picture. You can see Ursa Major, the lynx is near it. The sign of cancer is next to Leo. Let's see what else can we see. But yes, there's two lions. The greater lion, again, holds the fixed star of the king right there in its thigh. Now, the next slide I want to show you, here's what Regulus looks like in the night sky. Here's the constellation Leo. It looks kind of like a lion. And here's Regulus right there. Another little story I wanted to share is some people think that the Sphinx in Egypt has the body of the Namian lion. Its head is of what they might think, some think are is the face of Virgo, the virgin. But Regulus, the king's fixed star. So what does it mean to have this green ray of Regulus from the constellation Leo in your chart? Again, if you've called up the galactic astro chart and you can see if you have Regulus in it, get to the next slide. And here's my final slide. If you do have Regulus activated in your personal chart, you would carry this green ray energy. And here's a picture coming from Diana Cooper's card deck called Archangel Oracle Cards. Again, I love how stories build upon other stories and that gorgeous image of Archangel Raphael holding the healer's um, bowl and staff. If you have Regulus or you know people with Regulus, it offers powerful heart chakra energy. There is typically an innate healing ability within the soul who has this in their chart. And the unfortunate side is to learn about these healing energies, they need to be tested. So you're often born into families with deep ancestral wounding. Okay, how do you bring out the healer? Well, you put it through the soul through lots of, you know, hard lessons where healing is needed. This energy of Regulus, the fixed star, does bring in the energy of love and this idea of restoring balance. Also, and what I love most is if you have this, you'll oftentimes want to reconnect to your inner child and the healing will come through playful creativity. In the past, this fixed star could point toward your past lives as, as eventually or previously being a healer, an elder, or a caregiver. There you go, fixed star Regulus. Let me stop sharing now. So yes, wouldn't that be fun to have the fixed star Regulus in your natal chart? Imagine if it was in connected in conjunction with your sun, you know, or on your ascendant. What does that mean for an individual born with this activated fixed star, a royal star of Persia? There's the good, and then there's the challenge, but the potential for growth is pretty strong. Also, when people look at transits too, on a global level to Regulus, I remember some astrologers looking at, oh, XYZ is happening on the fixed star Regulus. Therefore, there's a call for 
the death of the king, whoever the king is. I don't really like to um, work with that type of energy. I'm more looking at the past and trying to stay into the natal chart with how does it apply to you and what qualities can you bring forward, you little lion, you. So imagine if you were born in the sign of Leo, you had your moon in Leo, and you had an association with this fixed star, Regulus in particular. So that's a lot today to digest. May the Archangel Raphael, and let me bring his message, is see with enlightened eyes and remain open to abundance. Thank you, Diana Cooper. Diana's got incredible YouTube messages where she talks about the energy of the archangels, the unicorns, and other incredible esoteric energy. So have fun today. Oh, by the way, here's where that one card of the two little lions, the box of stars, this is what that box looks like. I love it. Playing with my cards, looking at the stories, and hoping in some way that this message might help inform you as you navigate these new earth energies. I want to thank again all those who have subscribed. And if you haven't, please feel free to hit the subscription button because we're trying to move towards the 501st subscriber to have a community page. Okay, see you next time on the Ascension Playground. Bye for now. <laughs>